Hey, what's up, YouTube family? Making this video because you guys wanted to check out what add-ons I had. You guys wanted me to kind of go through what I was using. Um, and, I mean, this is really it. Let's get started. So the first one that you guys are definitely going to notice is the UI uh, add-on. I use an add-on called Domino's. And once you download Domino's from the Curse Client, you're going to get this icon up here in your mini-map. Once you click that, you're going to see this, like, kind of fade-out screen with this, these blue splotches everywhere. And what it is is... You can move literally just drag and drop things around so like if I have like my pet bar I can literally drop drop it right there or I can bring that over here I mean wherever I want to put it it allows you to just kind of just drag and drop wherever you want to see things um, you can move your menu bars you know where your roll window is all that kind of jazz and then even if you have like let's say you don't want to see this action bar all the time you have your abilities here but you don't want to see them you can just right click it and then fade it out completely and what happens is when you hit exit here now your bar is not there but when you hover your mouse over it it pops up so it's pretty nice if you have stuff on there that you rarely use and you just don't really need to show the action bar so it's kind of you know it's just kind of nice to get it out of the way um let's see what else okay so i got uh plate buffs is my next one and now you can't download plate buffs if you're interested in it you can download it from the link in the description below but if um you're, yeah, you, you, if you're interested in it, you can download it from the Curse Client. You have to, it's a, it's a separate uh, entity website, I guess, and you can just download it from there. And what Plate Buffs is, is basically a debuff and cooldown tracker. So if I were to plant a Rising Sun Kick on this guy, there's my debuffs, and it's tracking them. It's, it's giving me a timer to kind of prompt me to refresh my debuffs, okay? So that's plate buffs, and you can modify it too, guys. You don't you don't have to just see this stuff. You know, you could you could literally put in there what you want to see, what you want to see from the opponent, you know, stuff like that. You can modify all sorts of things. Um, oh well, might as well talk about this one now that now that we're doing this. <laughs> but um, tidy plates. I use tidy plates for my name plates, um, for the the health bars on the targets, and I also like tidy plates a lot because it keeps track of my combo points, which is my chi. So my cheese are up here, and whenever I use an ability, you know, I could, I could see it there instead of having to look here because whatever time that your eyes go away from what you're trying to do, it's it, you'd rather not do that, technically. You want to you wanna be able to keep your eyes in a general area where they're not traveling so much so that you can be aware and responsive to certain things happening. So that's uh, tidy plates. And tidy plates, again, guys, you can modify it to your liking. You can make the bar square. You can change the colors. Um, you can make them rounded. I mean, you could you could do all sorts of things with that too. And tidy plates. If you don't download plate buffs, tidy plates will show you uh, debuffs and buffs on top of the target too. You could also play around with that. But I like the way plate buffs sets it up. It's a little bit cleaner, so I prefer plate buffs over tidy plates for the buff tracker and debuff tracker. Um, another buff tracker that I have is called Rogue Power Bars, and what Rogue Power Bar does is it takes anything you'd like to track time of um and it'll put it in like these bars at the bottom you can well you can put bars anywhere you want but it'll put it in the, in the form of a bar it looks like a loading bar that's go, you know going from beginning to end right so i'm going to show you this here i have it tied up to my tiger power so when i hit tiger palm and tiger power the tiger power buff comes up right there i get this bar at the bottom here i purposely put it here just because it's a visual for me but that's telling me the duration that i have left on tiger power so right now you know it's, it's all fine and dandy until it starts getting low and you can actually have it flash for you whenever it gets low so you know it's kind of a, a easier way to keep track of things because the wow ui keeps all the buffs up here and it's just like i said it's i want to keep my eyes in one general area i don't want to have to look all over the place unless i'm looking for a target or you know in the arena somebody's doing something and i really need to be paying attention to that but I don't want to move my eyes from this area here at all. All right, so let's see what the next one is. What other add-on do I use? Plate buffs, tidy plates. Recount, I mean, recounts just really to keep track of DPS and stuff like that. I, I don't really use that per se. I just kind of have that around just to test certain things and whatnot. But I don't really use that. Uh, the only other add-on that I have that I know I've had for a while is um, Weak Auras. And what Weak Auras is, is it basically just gives you a little pop-up of whatever ability you just got back off cooldown. So like if I were to Rising Sun Kick this target dummy, 
when the cooldown of Rising Sun Kicks comes back up, just like that, you saw Expel Harm there. When Rising Sun Kick comes back up, it gives me a little pop-up here. Boom. So it's back up. So if I use Expel Harm again, it's going to wait until the cooldown comes back up again, and it's going to show it to me. It's going to give me a little pop-up letting me know, hey, you have this ability available. And you could drag that and move it around wherever you want, change the size of it, um, however you want to do it. So there's Rising Sun Kick, there's Expel Harm. That's it, guys. That Those are really all the add-ons that I use. I, I don't think I use many add-ons. I've seen some people who just have, and uh, it's, it's like a plethora of freaking add-ons, man. And it's, <laughs> to me, that's just a little too much. I like the way that I have my setup because it's nice and clean and simple. Simplicity is much better to me over just having a ton of things that are tracking a bunch of crap. Oh, one other thing, guys. Don't don't let me forget this. When I go into an arena, I definitely use Gladius. Gladius, I recommend for anybody who PvPs, especially in arenas, because it keeps track of trinkets and DR timers. You guys should definitely check that out. It's also like a nicer looking nameplates, or uh, what do you call these? The, um, ooh, drawing a blank, the portraits. It's a, it's a better looking set up on portraits so that's it I'll, I'll put a list in the bottom of the description guys um of, of all the, the add-ons that i use and i also have a link to plate buffs if you guys would like to download that thanks for watching guys see ya